hello dear friends and welcome to my youtube and opera channel on LERB society i'm going to teach you unit 23 of this course book and this is the last uh, let's say lesson of this book i have covered all of the 42 units of this vocabulary course book five of four absolutely essential words so if you just visit my website at lelb.net or my youtube channel as you are watching right now or opera channel you will have access to all of the lessons and units of this book and if your vocabulary needs to improve and you need to make some improvements i guarantee that um, actually the lessons in the in this package can help you a lot can help you tremendously and also you can improve your reading comprehension English pronunciation and vocabulary at the same time uh, okay so let me just show you the um, uh, flashcards in this uh, unit the last unit Frank means outspoken see this person uh, points to another person in a very uh, let's say clear and outspoken or straightforward or candid way annual means yearly and this is dense means uh, thick and related to each other and uh, let's say colonized in one place peril means danger minimum and maximum two opposite convince or persuade a person expensive easy vicinity means nearness closeness proximity pollute means contaminate and essential means necessary urgent pressing prior to means before bow means a boyfriend or actually a lover and bewildered means uh, let's say confused and essential okay and uh, as you have noticed here on this uh, sidebar widget on the right side of the uh, display if you visit my website uh, on your PC or laptop not on your mobile devices if you just click on the red uh, button or a strip you will be directed to the page of a free class in preparation for the IELTS speaking practice and it is free it is free and it's a group class for uh, improving your English for IELTS speaking practice and if you are just uh, browsing my website on your mobile device uh, right above the footer area this footer and right above the footer area actually there is a link and if you just click on that you will be actually taken to that page and you will have all the necessary information and this group class is free with so many entering activities and questions and just add me on Skype Let's show you that add me on Skype here it is Skype and Telegram so that I will add you to the list okay so let me teach you the last unit it's not sequentially the last unit but actually I just uh, cover the units or lessons of this book not based on an order okay this is unit 3 but I have already covered the other let's say 41 units reptile reptile is a cold blooded not warm blooded we humans are warm blooded creatures 
animal that creeps or crawls it means they just uh, smear or uh, carry they carry their stomach and uh, it is against let's say uh, the ground and uh, such as snakes or lizards turtles alligators and crocodiles the lizard is a reptile with a very slender body slender means slim s-l-i-m means uh, let's say thin reptiles are kept in the museum's large hall it refers to a museum and also it just points to the exact or precise location of keeping reptiles a crocodile is a reptile that is more nimble in the water than out of it nimble means agile means fast fast moving a crocodile is more nimble uh, in the water than let's say out of water or on land rarely is seldom not often scarcely okay you rarely hear adults raving about a movie they just saw rave about means to talk about something enthusiastically or in an exciting way adults do not do that because this is typical of children especially when they see some action movies okay uh, people are rarely frank with each other uh, they are not really candid for frank he's saying candid outspoken and straightforward okay uh, I rarely attend the uh, annual meetings of our family circle family circle household let me write it and remember after just uh, this uh, completing this book that will have been done by the end of this unit I will just turn my attention to 1100 words you need to know and I have already I think covered 18 weeks of that uh, including perhaps 42 or I don't know uh, 30 or 40 units and I'm going to just resume creating podcasts of that uh, course which is difficult which is more difficult than this one than this one yes I attend to so just to keep following me I rarely attend the annual or yearly meetings of our family circle means uh, some uh, events related to my family number three forbid means prohibit ban means uh, order someone not to do something make a rule against spitting the floor is forbidden in public places this is a disgusting uh, thing that some people do spit means to throw out the saliva of your mouth that natural liquid in your mouth okay it's forbidden in public places and if you just click on public place you will be directed to some other posts in which public places has been used that is a great chance for you to visit my website uh, to take full advantage of all the services the law and also the domain is so easy lelv.net just four letters the law forbids drunken drivers to handle their autos according to the law it is, it is against the law actually to mm, handle that is to drive your automobiles or calls while drunken it means while you are uh, drunken while uh, you have drunk actually al alcohol I forbid you to enter the dense jungle because of the peril 
which awaits you there perhaps actually a father or mother is just warning their children I forbid you to enter to go to the dense jungle it means uh, the trees are so um, let's say nearly colonized uh, because there is the peer peril or danger of uh, wild animals for example in ambush they are hidden logical reasonable reasonably expected sensible okay it's clear okay it is logical to spend the minimum on needless things to become to be frugal or economical frugal not lavish or extravagant in order to keep your car running well it is uh, only logical that you lubricate it regularly yes no pain no gain you know in order to use your car perfectly well you need to just take care of it and lubrication that is putting uh, some oil or grease uh, on some parts crucial parts of your car in order to uh, make it function better and more smoothly this is called lubrication I use the logical argument to persuade letter to leave a logical argument sensible rational argument to persuade or convince him Lester to leave exhibit pay attention it is X but it is pronounced G exhibit means display show both verb and the noun a million dollar microscope is now on exhibit at our school it means that uh, it is exposed to students or children students yes students so a very rare and expensive type of microscope is shown or presented to the students the bride and groom it means a wife and husband who have just got married exhibited their many expensive gifts or presents and they're from their wedding ceremony they are just displaying or showing Kim frequently exhibited the vast knowledge of um, sorry hair vast knowledge of baseball before complete strangers here before means at the presence of it doesn't refer to the time it doesn't refer to time it refers to the um, let's say location means in front of so she uh, frequently repeatedly showed or displayed uh, her vast knowledge means deep knowledge comprehensive knowledge about baseball uh, before complete a stranger so she just showed off okay proceed is to go on after having stopped continue move forward only those uh, with the special cards can proceed into their pool area so in order to enter that pool area you need to have uh, some invitation letters uh, let's say special cards when the actor was late the show proceeded without him they could not wait for him the senator proceeded to denounce those wholesalers who would deprive Americans of the quota of beef okay senator in the Congress you know in the US proceeded to denounce uh, means criticize censure let me write it 
censure remember this is censure and it means criticize and this is censor and it means uh, yeah censor and it means to filter to remove these are not the same okay denounce or criticize those wholesalers wholesalers are opposite of retailers retailer wholesaler actually buy and sell or exchange some goods in large quantities but retailer actually in smaller quantities it's clear who would deprive americans of their quota or ratio ratio or proportion portion of beef means meat of cows okay precaution means measures taken beforehand foresight okay it's clear it's stronger than caution detectives used precaution before entering the bomb's vicinity yet it is so perilous it may explode any second we must and detective is the best example of a detective is Sherlock Holmes okay we must take every precaution not to pollute the air because it may cause global warming and or unfortunately it has already been caused <laughs> and but it may just worsen it or undermine it okay before igniting the fire the hunters took unusual precaution before ignite means set something on fire means actually start a fire or make a fire make a fire set a fire ignite the fire the hunters took unusual precaution maybe actually they were in a uh, risky situation or they were just illegal illegal hunters illegal extract means pull out or draw out usually with some effort R remove yeah okay dr fogel extracted my tooth in an amateur fashion so as it, he was a dentist he must be a dentist so he, he didn't just uh, fill in uh, he decided to put it out if your tooth actually is so spoiled and the dentist cannot do anything about it they cannot just fill in uh, or go through root canal actually they have to extract it pull it out chemists extracted the essential vitamins from their grain grain for example rice cereals weeds barleys these are grains and beans lentils these are beans you know kidney beans extracted or pull out the unnecessary vitamins from the grain i don't know why okay spencer was ingenious in extracting information from witnesses maybe actually he was a lawyer spencer was ingenious means actually so skillful in extracting information also you can say eliciting information elicit take out information from witnesses observers okay number nine prior means before coming before earlier Prior to choosing his life's vocation, Paul travels traveled to India. Okay, before selecting his life's profession or career, Paul traveled to India. Maria was unhappy prior to meeting her beau or lover. Maria was unhappy, not happy before meeting her 
fiancé or lover. Samson had been a strong man prior to having his hair cut. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, Samson had a strong man, uh, had been a strong man prior to having his hair cut. It means that when he had uh, long hair, he was a strong man. But when he just cut it short, actually he happened to uh, lose his power uh, or strength or stamina. This is... <laughs> I don't know, it may happen because some people just take a lot of confidence from their hair. Anyway, good for them. Embrace means hug one another. A hug, cuddle, as you can say. Uh, cuddle. Okay. Also, it means accept. Another meaning is accept. After having been rivals or competitors, okay, for years, the two men embraced, okay. When Ellen's spouse, spouse means husband or wife, approached or drew near, okay, got closer, she slipped out of dog's embrace. So... This is a kind of affair, love affair, or betrayal, when Ellen's spouse, so Ellen refers to sh she, she refers to Ellen, sorry, spouse approached or accosted or got closer, she uh, actually, uh, yes, slipped out means just uh, a withdrew, withdraw is the simple form withdrew out of dog's embrace so she was just cheating on him uh, on her husband with another person called doves I don't know how to pronounce it okay the young girl was bewildered or confused uh, when the stranger embraced her so the stranger just started hugging her and she was uh, perplexed. Valiant is brave. It's courageous. Robin Hood was valiant and faced his opponents without fear. Opponent means rival. Opponent means rival without fear, means fearlessly. It takes courage. The valiant paratroopers led the invasion. Paratrooper are some soldiers that just uh, land on uh, from let's say they land uh, from a plane with parachutes. You know parachute. Let me write it. Parachute. It means it's a uh, let's say tool or um, instrument from which you can just. Uh, take the plane and then jump down with the help of that you will be landing on uh, let's say on the ground in a safe way this is parachute invasion means attack grandma joe had the ability to be valiant when the need arose pay attention to this structure arose is the sam simple form of arise and these two verbs are not the same arise versus arouse how are they different the first one is intransitive and the second one is transitive that is this one does not need any object but this one does need an object so here need arouse it is intransitive and the last word partial is not complete not total the opposite is impartial okay we made a partial listing of the urgently needed sub supplies we just enumerated and made a list of uh, incompletely 
let's say uh, needed or required supplies materials that we need uh, Mackey or Macy had a sale on a partial selection of its winter clothes so uh, had a sale on a partial in some part you know part partial has come from the word part some part of let's say the selection of their uh, winter clothes because they did not like it they did not need them the clothes winter clothes anymore using only a partial amount of his greatest speed Jim Rion I don't know uh, surpassed all the other runners so he was a runner when you surpass something or somebody means actually you just excel e-x-c-e-l means to do better than so he, he was not trying his best because actually he was a perfect runner and he just used some part of his uh, speed and potentiality in order to outrun you can say when you say outrun means to run faster okay and that's it thank you for your attention and i hope you enjoyed it we have hereby completed this great course book that is 504 i hope you enjoyed it thank you and bye bye